Hello YouTubers, I'm going to make a knife stand for this knife. What I envision is this is a um, more like a kitchen knife. My dad designed it. I'm going to put wooden scales, wooden handles here. I've got a lot of pieces of uh, wood flooring. This is oak, so I'll strip the finish, remove some of these cuts and grooves and I will create some sort of a prop something to hold the knife up so the knife will not get a sheath. I've uh, never done this before but I'm sure I could figure it out so I'll be using this uh, miter saw or chop saw and I'm going to cut out a few pieces and use the grinders that I have to remove the finish maybe even this one here, the KMG, to make some curves or props for it, whatever you want to call it, stands for it. I'll need to round off the pieces, so I'll use that to get a, a rough cut of it. Some file work, some sandpaper, and some screws, some glue, and I'll take pictures or video caps as the work progresses. I'll try to make this as short as possible. Hey YouTubers, so with an 80 grit belt, a um, little used, a little broken in, uh, got gunked up with the varnish or whatever finish they use on top of the, um, the oak for wood floors, kind of gunked up the belt a little bit, I hit it with 80 and I've made a few pieces so far stripped off the finish, also sanded the back of the wood, well this will be the front of the wood I should say, not the back, the front. The back, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with, maybe I'll just clean it up a little bit and leave it there. You know, if it's a display piece, I'll have something to grip, I don't know. It's a lot of work to, uh, no it's not a lot of work, I'm being lazy. Uh, maybe not necessary, looks kind of cool, I mean this could even be the front if someone likes this pattern for the front. Uh, only because the lines are so nice and straight, kind of looks like it's intentional. The um, tongue and groove uh, part of the uh, wood floor has a, a notch. I'm trying to get in the camera, has a notch right under the tongue. So when you cut it off and you grind it down, it leaves that notch behind. Again, it might look cool. I'm going to leave it in. If I fill it with. Uh, with some sort of stain, it's going to collect and pool in there, it'll be dark, it'll kind of look like a line that's drawn across. Uh, being that it's very straight, again, I want to keep it because it kind of accents the wood. Uh, I'm thinking about just rounding off the the edge. I do have a, a router that I can perhaps play with. 
I made more than I need because I'm thinking uh, this might come out looking really cool. I'm gonna want one for myself, or uh, I meet I might need to practice and one will get ruined. So these two are the base pieces, and then I'm going to cut small one-inch pieces here, which will be the stand. Uh, this groove in here is going to be made deeper, or something of that nature, uh, and that will hold the knife in place. So if you can imagine, well, this one has a base. Oh, there we go. Good. Let's use this one. Am I on camera? Let me just turn the camera this way. Oh, it's too short. Let me just prop it up. Let me prop it up some more. So it's in frame. Okay, so imagine this block of wood being three or two little arms sticking straight up. Right now it's a whole block of wood, but just imagine them. Three pieces being propped up an inch wide or so. And that's the uh, the knife. I know the blade's up, silly, but if I can make them deeper, I know it's not going to stand this way, but if I can make it deeper, I'll be able to secure the knife this way, but just an example. Alrighty. Obviously a bad idea to leave the knife edge up. So I flattened out the back, now I'm going to cut off this um, tongue from the tongue and groove and then flatten that out. So I took the uh, block and I chopped it up in three pieces. I did measure it out, but using the chop saw on a small piece of wood and when you remove one inch, a real dangerous work. Um, and I ended up cutting this one uneven. I had to straighten it out and made it shorter, narrower. So now I've got the three pieces and I'm gonna work a little bit on the uh, KMG to remove the burn marks straighten out the blocks and perhaps make these two thinner to match this one. Then I'm going to take the um, the piece, where are we? Can you see up here? Nope, too high. Can you see here? Nope. I gotta pick up the camera. So I'm going to get the uh, block and rest it here to open up the groove because this groove is not large enough. I practiced with a, um, a, a router but the router is way too fast and it's such a small piece to get a straight line. It will be kind of hard without guides. Trying to aim the camera a little better. So I'll just use this. It'll work. All right guys, here's where I'm at at this point. I didn't uh, screw or glue anything down yet. I still have to do some hand sanding with some finer grit paper. Obviously uh, staining and, uh, and etc. So this was my concept. The, the knife itself needs an edge and needs to be finished. So um, just inspired to do some word work today. I had this uh, in mind for a while. So, what do you guys think? Okay guys, so it's done. It's um, stained, and shellacked, assembled. What do you guys think? Knife has to be done, I know. It's not finished, but I wanted to do this project before anything else. This would be the back. If you see, that's the uh, groove for the tongue and groove. I left it. And that's the back piece, the under piece, so I removed the, the lines I went across, it was like two bands I went across, removed it, but kept that one there. I guess because it was a notch here, match it with a, some sort of a notch. 
So if someone likes it in this, those are the two bottom grooves I was talking about that I had to remove. So the little notch is kept here and that's the piece up there. So this is the knife stand. So I envision this being on a countertop somewhere in the kitchen and if you need a sharp knife you would just grab it. Um, the knife won't get a sheath, it'll just have a stand. Grab the knife, use it, wipe it down, put it back. I'm going to stop the camera and swing the, um, the stand around so you see the other view. So here's the other view. And I made them different so if I want this to look flat, if I want this to be flat, I don't want to see the tongue and groove, well then this is the way I would display the knife. I've got so much wood, I've got a ton of wood leftover pieces from doing the first floor and the second floor of the house. There were a lot of excess pieces, I was wondering what can I do with it and um, thought I came up with this idea stand for the knife. Alright YouTube, YouTubers Appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hey guys, one more thing. What do you guys think about the spine of the knife? It's not jimping, but it, it is a textured finish. And I think it looks pretty cool how it reflects the light. Imagine having it in focus. See it better. Um, I took an angle grinder with a grinding wheel and just passed it along the spine of the knife, including the pummel. And underneath, as long as it doesn't capture dirt, moisture, and oils, and it won't rust, and the finish stays nice like this. This would be pretty cool, I think. It's got a nice feel to it. A little grippy. It's not rough at all. It's not rough at all. But it does feel grippy. Like, it won't irritate your hand, my thumb. Well, whereas here, it's very smooth and slippery. Over here, it's nice and grippy. So what do you guys think of this pattern? I haven't seen another knife designer do that. I'm also thinking about making this textured pattern on the side here somewhere to add grip to the uh, thicker knives that I have. Kind of cool, right? Can I zoom in more? Let's see if the camera lets me. I'm pretty sure with a little practice I can uh, make straighter lines. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, especially those guys who commented, thank you very much, really appreciate it. Um, that has gotten me really motivated to work on knives and make YouTube recordings and really appreciate the feedback, positive or negative, whatever it is, as long as it's constructive feedback. Do appreciate it. Thanks a lot guys. Have a good one.